the second around the day. Can we go to the table here, please? Thank you. Very good morning and warm and warm welcome to all our esteemed dignitaries, delegates, invitees, and participants here at Chintan Bangkok for the Startup 20 Sikkim Sabha. I take this honor and privilege to extend a warm welcome to the esteemed dignitaries on the dais. Please welcome with a big round of applause, Sri Prem Singh Tama, the Honorable Chief Minister of Sikkim. Mr. Sum the Honorable Minister of State for Commerce and Industry, Government of India. Mr. B.S. Pant, the Honorable Minister for Tourism, Commerce and Industry, IPR and Printing, Government of Sikkim. Mr. V.B. Pathak, Chief Secretary, Government of Sikkim. Mr. Dutta, Senior Advisor, Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade, Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Government of India, and Dr. Chintan Vaishnav, Chair, Startup Trading, and Business Director, Atal Innovation Mission, Vidya. May I also take this privilege to welcome our received delegates from G20 nations, dignitaries of the Government of Sikkim and Government of India, startup experts, startup founders, participants, and esteemed members of the media. In the spirit of Vasudai Rukutum Makavu, that is, one earth, one family, one future, the best minds in the startup ecosystem are present here and this auditory today. And Sikkim State remains in Pride in hosting this highly significant event. Navachar aaj sirf ek vikalp nini, samay ki awashakta hai. Innovation is the need of the hour, not just an option today. Inspired by these golden words of the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi, Startup 20 was born under the aegis of the India's G20 Presidency. In January this year, the city of Hyderabad witnessed a two-day inception meeting of the Startup 20 to create a global narrative for supporting startups and enabling synergies between startups, corporates, investors, innovation agencies and other key ecosystem stakeholders. We have gathered here today to continue Startup 20's journey to harmonize the global startup ecosystem through a collaborative and forward-looking approach. Today, the startup ecosystem across the globe has entered a golden era where the startups have the unique and historic opportunity to transform global markets. As we move forward, I would once again like to thank our esteemed dignitaries on and off the dais for your valuable presence and participation in this event. Your presence here is a testament to the world's commitment towards building a robust startup innovation ecosystem across the globe. Today, we are honored to have with us Dr. Chintan Vaishnav, Chair Startup 20, an established name in the field of innovation, Dr. Chintan 
is currently the mission director for Atal Innovation Mission, a flagship initiative of the Government of India under the auspices of the Niti Aayog. I would like to request Dr. Chintan Vaishnav to kindly enlighten the audience about Startup 20. Well, a very good morning, everyone. A very good morning, everyone. That's better. <laughs> so, um, hello, uh, innovators, entrepreneurs, um, and the startup ecosystem builders uh, from around the world. Uh, dignitaries uh, on and off the dais. Welcome to Sikkim Startup Sabha, the second meeting of the Startup 20 engagement group under G20 in this beautiful state of Sikkim where the nature smiles. Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, the Honorable Chief Minister uh, Sri Tamangji, uh, uh, the Chief Secretary of Sikkim, Sri Pathakji, and other officials of the Sikkim government in the audience, um, without whose uh, support um, this uh, event uh, could not have been done. So let's uh, uh, say thank you and uh, give them a big round of uh, I also want to thank uh, Honorable Minister of State for Commerce and Industry, Sri uh, Som Prakash Ji, uh, for being a uh, steadfast uh, pillar of support for Star 20 since uh, its uh, inceptions, uh, inception. Thank you, sir. Finally, and of course equally importantly, um, a big thank you to all of you, the foreign as well as Indian delegates who have traveled long distances uh, to be with us uh, here today. Um, a very warm welcome. Uh, let's, let's dive straight in. We could maybe go to the second slide here. I, I will take you through a quick, uh, uh, my, my goal in the next few minutes uh, is to take you through a quick uh, set of slides to bring everybody up to speed uh, as to where we stand uh, with respect to Startup 20 at the moment. Um, this is it, okay, all right. Well, as most of you know, Startup 20 engagement group is the only new engagement group under the G20 umbrella this year. This, 20, this group came together as the Global 20, that is all of you, uh, agreed to India's proposal to create an engagement group that will carry the voices of the startups from all over the world to the global leaders. As such, this group, by its very birth, is arguably the world's highest forum uh, on global startup policy. Now, needless to say that startups have become an indispensable force uh, all around the world in, in, in addressing some of our most pressing challenges. But not only that, in becoming those micro engines of economic growth everywhere. And this group is a celebration of this fact. The overarching goal of the Startup 20 uh, is the engagement group is uh, really twofold. At the highest level, we want to bring together the startup ecosystems from all around the world, especially the G20 nations, to help startups operate better worldwide. Uh, in other words, we want, we want these ecosystems to come together and harmonize. But we want to do that while ensuring that every nation has the freedom or their freedom is not compromised when it comes to growing their own ecosystem that they, the, the way they want, they see fit. Uh, this applies not only to uh, a nation, but also applies to the region. Think about the Northeast where we are. 
this ecosystem ought to grow the way uh, they see fit. Uh, and so it has these two dimensional characters, the highest level objective that we are uh, after. Now, if you look around just the Global 20, the canvas is quite uh, uh, vast. Uh, just uh, in these economies, there are 750,000 startups. There are more than 40,000 incubators and accelerators. There is more than 21,000 venture capital, uh, private equity, angel firms, uh, and, and there are more than 1,200 unicorns today across the G20 nations. Now, in India, as many of you know, uh, 92,000 of these uh, uh, startups are registered in India. Uh, over about, uh, around 108 unicorns uh, are in India today. Uh, and and uh, now, now if, you, if you come down to the, uh, the, the northeastern region uh, and Sikkim, uh, where we are, uh, and, and, it, and if you think about these numbers from the perspective, very narrowly, from the perspective of uh, those uh, outlets that are created by a place like, say, Atal Innovation Mission, you heard that I happen to uh, lead the Arctic Innovation Mission. Uh, here's what the numbers look like. So in the Northeast uh, today, there are three major incubation centers. Uh, um, there are over 80 uh, unique startups across these incubation centers. Uh, uh, just in these three years of creating these centers, these startups have come about. And if you look across the high schools, 622 high schools in the seven states of the Northeast today have a state-of-the-art maker space called Upper Tinkering Labs, covering about 5% of the high school. So we are certainly living in an era of startups. Now, um, to do this work, the Startup 20 uh, is organized in three uh, task forces, foundation and alliances, finance, inclusion, and sustainability. Now, the foundation's work is to harmonize the definitions and terminologies used in the startup ecosystems all over the world. Today, there is no single definition for what we know as startup as a policy animal. This is the harmonization this group is trying to achieve. The Alliance's uh, work is focused on creating a blueprint so that the, what, what comes out of a, uh, the recommendations that come out of Star 20 can be taken forward through a global network of innovation center. The blueprint of these networks is what is coming out of the Alliance's. The finance group is focused on producing a policy framework that will unlock financing for startups across these ecosystems all over the world, especially the G20. The inclusion piece of the work is focused on articulating how to build startup ecosystems that are inclusive of gender, inclusive of people with disability, inclusive of other groups, language, etc. Uh, and, and, and how do you take those startups that also are working on inclusion? That's the work of inclusion. And finally, sustainability is focused on identifying and promoting those startups that will make the world radically more sustainable and capable of meeting the SDG goals that we have all agreed to. So that's the work of these uh, uh, these groups. Uh, uh, we, we are we are really blessed. Uh, on on, on uh, uh, India side, when we started, uh, we, we we brought on board a, a council uh, 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 that that will help uh, take this work forward. We are very blessed to have several leaders from our ecosystem uh, 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 lead uh, this effort. Uh, some of them are here, and you will meet them as well. They were all there in Hyderabad at the inception, and now they have also enlisted their own colleagues and. Uh, uh, to, to come uh, join this forum. Uh, Abha and Dipanvita uh, are here possibly uh, 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 being a part of uh, um, uh, uh, foundations. Shiv Kiran is here uh, for alliances somewhere. Um, uh, uh, there, there are several other representations. 
representatives. For inclusion task force, Harjinder Kaur Talwar uh, is here. She is chairing the inclusion task force. Harjinder uh, deserves a special mention today because she deserves a special mention today because she could have been celebrating her birthday in Delhi with her family. Happy birthday, Harjinder. Uh, it's made this the biggest party she has ever had on her birthday. Uh, I, let me say that this is a fun group. This is not the first time we are celebrating birthday in this group. Uh, in, in Hyderabad too, we did, we did the same. So, uh, but we, we were blessed to have a very strong set of uh, people. Uh, finance is led by Vijay Shekhar Sharma, who is the founder of Paytm, uh, uh, Rajan Anandan of Sequoia Capital, uh, Sakir Dalmia, who has the chamber, uh, the PhD Chamber of Commerce, uh, Shraddha Sharma is a part of inclusion as a co-chair. Uh, she is the founder of Your Story. Um, for sustainability, Nadeep Godrej is chairing the sustainability. Huda Jafar, the CEO of Selco Foundation, is a part of it. And Anjali Bansal, who is the founder of Avana Capital, is a part of it. So uh, again, I didn't mention Gopal. Uh, Srinivasan Gopal uh, is uh, uh, leading the um, Alliances Task Force and Professor Shiva Dhanijha of IM Mangalore is leading the um, foundation task force. So uh, a, a great group of people who have been working very, very hard to get us uh, to this point. Um, we are going to have a total of five official meetings. This is the second of the five meetings. We started with an inception meeting in Hyderabad. Today is the, is the second uh, meeting. Uh, we will have three more meetings and uh, that will culminate into the uh, summit meeting uh, in Gurgaon on July 3rd and 4th. I want to also mention uh, another platform that you don't see a logo of yet uh, on this slide, but it's a platform called Startup 20X. The idea of this platform is to, is to bring the startup activities that are happening in the global startup ecosystems on this, onto this global stage. So this is a platform where any, if, if Sikkim is doing an event, they can just co-brand their, their event with Startup 20X and you will be on the global stage. That, that's, that's the platform you will experience this afternoon. Uh, uh, so so, so uh, don't hold your breath until then, uh, of course, but it's, it's going to be exciting, never, never the less. Uh, so, um, let me give you a little bit about what happened in Hyderabad, the inception meeting in Hyderabad, uh, and I must say this with the necessary humility, was a resounding success. Uh, we had a highly interactive session uh, which had uh, 80 international and 100 uh, Indian delegates from 25 different countries. Uh, and and uh, um, uh, as we came out of what, what uh, and uh, there were 40 sessions, uh, 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 and uh, uh, they, were, they were highly, highly interactive. Here's what came out of Hyderabad. So, so we went into this meeting with an issue you know, that everybody uh, had uh, read. Uh, and then uh, uh, the interactive sessions produced a lot of discussion, which, which we summarized and published first as a, a, as a retrospect. We then added to the retrospect inputs uh, uh, the, the, the specific suggestions on what should be the inputs uh, and the deliverables, uh, sorry, uh, sorry uh, the objectives and the deliverables of the Star 20. And we published a synthesis report. So that was the second stage. And all of this then got added into what we are now calling the policy communique minus one. This is the document that will be discussed in Sikkim. Um, in some ways, this is the revised issue note for those people who were already in Hyderabad and joined us here too. Um, here's a very quick overview uh, of what is happening in Sikkim Star of Sabha. Uh, uh, it, it may feel like uh, this is too much detail, but I, I'd like to uh, uh, share this with you because uh, all of these state guests are also here, and I'd like them to know what's happening here. Um, on the content side, the broad objective is to discuss the task force-wise outcomes and policy papers. 
we're going to do that in five different restaurants that are nearby, so it will get more exciting and uh, inclusive and uh, also uh, somewhat um, um, intense. Um, on the excursion side, uh, we want you uh, to get to know uh, the delegates. We want you to get to know the beautiful people, culture, and ecosystem of Sikkim, of Sikkim as well as the Northeast. There are four types of sessions happening here. Uh, um, some uh, uh, the the, um, uh, the the communique. Uh, uh, we we will first start uh, by sharing. Uh, uh, the process of getting to the communique so that everybody is on the same page. Uh, then the task forces, as I mentioned, will go to the five different uh, restaurants and do their deep dives. Uh, uh, from time to time, they'll come back uh, here to Chintan Bhavan. By the way, I have nothing to do with the naming of the Chintan Bhavan. But uh, uh, we'll come back uh, for the plenary session here. And then the immersion and networking, there are several opportunities. There's going to be a fantastic startup showcase, uh, including uh, you know, exhibiting as startups of the Northeast uh, on the NG Mark this afternoon. There will also be a Startup 20 X series of talks, five talks this afternoon. There's a gala dinner this evening, uh, and uh, then tomorrow evening uh, we are revisiting the historic uh, Room Tech uh, Monastery. So, uh, in all, uh, once again, many many thanks for being here. If you need anything, please don't hesitate to tell us uh, in India, as you've heard many times now, guest is God, uh, and I wish you all a wonderful, comfortable, as well as a productive stay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir, for your comprehensive presentation, and also for setting the context for the day's proceedings. I'm happy to inform that this event is being covered live by the government of Sikkim on Facebook and multiple other media entities. We have with us Sri Ashish Sinha, Joint Secretary, Ministry of External Affairs, Government of India. Sri Sinha has been involved in the Startup 20 since its inception, and it is an honor to have him here with us today. I would like to invite the Joint Secretary, Ministry of External Affairs, to kindly address this August Council. Chief Minister, Honorable MOS uh, Amazon Industry, uh, Honorable Chief Secretary, Madam Nupadatta Principal Advisor, the PIIT, Dr. Shintan Vashna, Secretaries, Ladies and Gentlemen, very good morning. It's an honor to be uh, amongst you this morning and talking about G20, which is the most important thing going on in the world and definitely in India. So I have a small presentation to give you a little bit of information about what G20 is and what G20 means for India and what this G20 startup meeting means for Sikkim and means for delegates which have, who have traveled all the way to this beautiful state. These are startup pickups, so bear with me. So, do we understand what the world would be without the G20? Can we think for a moment? You know, it looks all uh, very natural to us that meetings happen, delegates travel, we talk, and we pack up, we go, we come out with a community. But what would the world be had there been no G20? Anybody who would like to hazard a guess? Any thoughts? Well, there would, there would be G, G0, there would be nothing. This is a forum of countries which contribute 80% of world GDP, 75% of international trade, 65% of pollution, and of course, not just the good things, but even pollution is contributed by these countries. So, a cooperation among these countries, a discussion and an agreement matters a lot, matters to the rest of the world. You know, uh, there would not have been a COVID vaccination if there was no G20. The G20 countries with WHO decided to fast track 
the whole thing called uh, and uh, covid tool toolkit accelerated covid toolkit and finding the gap for vaccination which happened you know something which would have taken say two decades happened in two years similarly there would not have been a debt service suspension which was decided by g20 countries for the developing countries who were suffering for, from uh, covid and lockdown and their economic activities were stopped there would not have been data privacy if there was no g20 so i'll just show you a slide what g20 has achieved uh, in recent times you can see in japan we achieved osaka track for better data privacy protection osaka blue vision which is basically about the blue economy and using ocean principle of quality infrastructure the next subsequent year in saudi arabia which was the peak of uh, covid and most meetings took place in virtual mode the g20 came out with debt service suspension initiative and and which has helped a lot of developing countries and it is continuing in the form of common uh, program recognition of covid-19 vaccine as a global public good was a contribution of g20 similarly in italy the world realized that due to covid pandemic uh, you know there has been little progress on the sdg in some cases there was a reversal of the trend and number of poor were increasing the poverty was an increase so there was a commitment to give stimulus to sdg and platform on sdg localization was adopted you know and and today's world we see multinational organizations uh, operating in various geographies there was no clarity as to where should they pay tax they produce somewhere else sell somewhere else and in many cases in e-commerce there was no such clarity so g20 came out with a global minimum tax indonesia we saw there was lot of work between finance and health and you know financing of health and health emergency came out as a core uh, as an important issue so all these are happening and during our presidency india has decided and our prime minister has decided that our presidency will be ambitious inclusive action oriented and decisive and we have decided our priority and i'll, I'll come to the priority later so basically after telling you the the importance very quickly about the genesis and present our that in 1999 financial crisis brought together the world and then this 20 countries the finance minister and central bank governors and a decade later the global financial though global crisis uh, in 2008 elevated the finance minister and central bank governors level meeting to the summit level and almost all areas under the sun are discussed in the form of working groups and engagement groups this is the structure you can see very quickly under sherpa track there are 30 working groups from agriculture to digital economy to health to education the disaster reduction environment trade commerce almost everything and the finance minister and central bank governors track there are eight work streams and then something which cannot be dealt only by the government there are civil society private sector organization all other stakeholders which form engagement groups and there are 11 engagement groups including this one on startup 20 which was started during indian presidency you have heard from dr chintan rashno the progress made so far under the startup 20 track so during our presidency you know we assumed our presidency in the backdrop of several crises the climate crisis which was ongoing slow progress on sustainable development goals covid pandemic and covid pandemic led to the debt crisis and when the world was thinking that they have left behind the covid crisis they we faced with geopolitical crisis in europe and then the geopolitical tension and crisis led to food and energy crisis popularly known as triple f crisis food fuel and fertilizer crisis however indians know that in every crisis there lies an opportunity and that's how we have approached our presidency we are willing to bridge the gap in the world and we are willing to play the role of a trusted partner you can see on this slide among all the ongoing crises india's response to each of the crises we have been, we have risen to the occasion when the world needed vaccine we produced vaccine at a large scale and we had a vaccine maxi program for the developing countries so that no one was left behind recently you would have heard our prime minister speaking to president putin in uh, samarkand and telling that this is not the era of war so india has emerged as a bridging leader as a trusted partner in the world full with crisis and there is a ray of hope in india and in indian presidency 
a very close look at our uh, priorities uh, you know are reflected in our logo in our team this g20 logo was uh, a result of a competition and and uh, the best logo which was uh, uh, given by a uh, participant in the competition was uh, accepted you see this logo is a world and that that globe shows india's approach to the planet and india's pro planet policies which is vasudhaiva kutumbakam the whole world is a family one earth one family one future the lotus signifies that even in crisis there there could be bloom so therefore this is our uh, presidency and it comes at a time when we are celebrating azadi ka amrit mahotsav so and the 50th year of our independence and next 25 years as amrit ka leading to centenary of india's independence so there are 20 countries participating and then nine invited countries there are 14 international organizations which are participating in india's presidency in g20 meetings and beyond that we have reached out to all others who are not in this 20 not in invited not in the international organization we had organized a voice of global south summit and prime minister interacted with the rest of the countries which are not here and took their feedback uh, to incorporate their viewpoint and bring it on the g20 table these are the key priorities i'll not go in details but i'll just tell about uh, the signature priority you see green development climate finance and life you would recall that our prime minister launched life which is lifestyle for environment in cop 26 in glasgow and basically the idea is that with sustainable consumption and sustainable production the world can achieve the environmental goal and climate action you know by nudging the individual behavior towards sustainable consumption and then amplifying it at the community level and finally a bigger broader sustainable and uh, mindful use of mindful consumption would lead to a sustainable world this would also include the the circular economy and you know each segment can participate in achieving the sustainability then accelerated growth sdgs technological transformation and digital public infrastructure you see india has achieved a uh, lot of digital progress starting from aadhaar as a unique id card from there to covid as a platform to vaccinate 1.2 billion people in the shortest possible time and then after upi unit have unified payment interface which is interoperable across the platforms at a, um, a fragment of a cost and that is the biggest financial inclusion initiative in the world so while uh, you know some other parts of the world have also witnessed digital transformation as india has india is the only country which has used this digital transformation as the development tool as an inclusion tool so that is another priority and we want to share with the world our experience our public platforms that our uh, people have developed and last and not the least women led development which will cut across the working group across the priorities we want to go ahead from women empowerment to women led growth women led development women should be in the leadership position now uh, you know g20 is a bigger story and it cannot be summarized in such a short time and it's an ongoing story so i request all of you to remain tuned to visit the website to follow us on twitter on on, on uh, instagram and download the g20 app so that you are clued in and i wish all of you a very successful uh, next two days of deliberations on startup 20 as you are aware that startup 20 is an initiative during our presidency so uh, all the more responsibility that uh, you know as a nation initiative we invest much more so that it continues it grows further beyond our presidency thank you very much thank you sir for highlighting the importance of g20 in the context of improving the global economic health we are honored to have with us ms rupa datta senior advisor department for promotion and of industry and internal trade ministry of commerce and industry government of india madam has led in lending her expertise to support and encourage businesses and startups across the country we welcome madam rupa datta to kindly share your thoughts in this important forum uh good morning everyone uh, honorable chief uh, minister sir Uh, honorable mos sir uh, honorable chief secretary 
Chintan ji, Ashish ji, and all of the dignitaries uh, on stage, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> I'm very uh, honored that I've been given this opportunity of sharing our thoughts on the entire start of 20 meeting. The, the inception meeting has already happened, and Chintan ji has given the entire chronology of the next few events. What uh, I would like to mention is, since I uh, pre represent DPIIT, the Department of Promotion of Trade and the uh, Department of Promotion of Industrial Internal and Trade, and startups is a very important vertical for the entire department. It is for the entire government of India, with specific focus for DPIIT. So I would like to uh, give the linkage of the entire startup ecosystem how it evolved, what are the what are the key features we are looking at, how are the startups being promoted and leveraged and encouraged, and startup 20 becomes a very critical part of this entire startup uh, system. So uh, like we all know, as we are as an introduction, I would like to mention that we all know that startups have become a major movement in the country. They are uh, job creators. The startups are known for their agility, creativity, and risk-taking uh, appetites and uh, opportunities. Especially during COVID-19, the resilience, the innovativeness, and the initiatives taken by startups play a very critical role. Uh, Startup 20 is a new engagement group uh, done during India's uh, G20 presidency. Uh, a lot of it has already been mentioned, don't want to uh, repeat that. Uh, but we can say that this uh, initiative was taken uh, in a joint manner by all government departments, starting from uh, the previous uh, meetings held during Indonesia in Bali. And uh, it did take some convincing for a lot of G20 nations to bring them on board. But now uh, it's a very, very vibrant uh, engagement group which has taken off and which is looking at getting some very good outcomes as part of this, uh, start, as, uh, by the end of India's G20 presidency. Now, uh, when we look at domestically, the subject for which I wanted to give a few insights, the growth of startup ecosystem in India has been immense. There are currently more than 100 unicorns in India. India has the world's third largest uh, startup economy and startup uh, ecosystem has been facilitated by various initiatives of government of governments. Governments, uh, uh, government has introduced flagship schemes, uh, made really fund of fund for startups, startup India C fund, and credit guarantee scheme. These schemes have extended support to startups at various stages. Presently, we have 93,878 startups recognized, DPIT recognized startups in the country. And when it started in around uh, 2015, there were only about 800 or 900 startups. That is, it's a 10 times increase in the number of startups which we have been, achieved. And they have generated employment for over 8.88 lakh individuals, with the average number of uh, jobs being generated per startup is 11. DPIIT has extended 80 IAC tax exemption and 1,069 startups have been granted tax exemptions. They can avail of tax holiday for three consecutive years for off the first 10 years of their incorporation. Besides, under Section 56, angel tax exemption has, uh, has been provided to around 7,000 startups under Section 56.7b and about 8,000 crores have been committed by Siddhi, with a seven times multiplier effect, this comes to about 54,000 crores. Why I mention these figures? Because this is a kind of, you know, movement. This is a, uh, this is a kind of, um, um, uh, which is taking off. It is, and it, a lot much more will be done in this regard. And uh, at least we can personally say that wherever, whichever forum we go to, whether it is. Uh, uh, whether it's finance, revenue, or all other sectors, startups is the key initiative, key achievement mentioned by all our senior officials, our honorable ministers, and all efforts are being made to ensure that government plays the role of a capitalist and helps in encouraging these startups to take off. 
Now the second angle, which I want to mention is that B20 is the other uh, engagement group which has been promoted, which is the topmost engagement group under G20. Both of these are pertaining to India. Uh, some of you might remember that I had also mentioned about B20 uh, a couple of days back and given the entire perspective. Now B20, established in 2010, represents big businesses. Whereas the startups are the, like, you know, the small businesses, the individual entrepreneurs. So one of our tasks would also be to bring a convergence and to bring things in uh, sync with each other. And let us see how the newest engagement group and the oldest engagement group work together to achieve good outcomes. In the, as, as, the, as mentioned, Business 20 has the largest business leaders, whereas Startup 20 has all these new, uh, bright, enthusiastic, creative, professional leading some of the major startups in the country, and the twain will meet and see to it that we move ahead. Some of the, as mentioned by Chintanji, some of the critical uh, task forces of uh, uh, Startup 20 actually crisscross with that of B20. Some of the critical areas mentioned for B20 task forces are resolutions of global value chains, scaling, financial inclusion, uh, financing for global recovery, technology, etc. What are the key uh, areas the startups are looking at, Startup 20? First is digital transformation. The digital transformation uh, to realize the full potential of the digital economy that and ensure that uh, there is equity and access to all economic groups, socially and economically weaker ones also, uh, the levels of uh, digital literacy has to improve. Startups have played a critical role in this. Uh, there are digital financial services, startups such as Paytm, PhonePay, MobiQuick, etc., which have provided digital financial services to millions of in Indians. And these have made the financial transactions much more efficient and effective. And even uh, we can see that in all parts of the country, uh, every, even the vegetable vendor, and everywhere, I mean, uh, the, the uh, effect of this digital access is actually percolated down to all levels of society. We have edtech startups such as Blyus and Human Academy, which have revolutionized the education sector by providing digital learning platforms. And we have e-commerce startups such as Flipkart, Snapdeal and Paytm Mall. And even DKIP itself, we have a major initiative as ONBC where we are looking at not only the startups but the SSGs and small retailers to onboard their products and get a global stage. The next critical uh, uh, task force of the startup is the future of work and skilling and uh, mobility. Again, uh, crisscrossing with the B20, uh, uh, B20 task force. The need for skilling, pre-skilling and upskilling, looking at newer jobs, and because a lot of old jobs would are being lost during the COVID pandemic and its after effect. So how do we do a mapping? How do we ensure that the world moves on to a, a, a level of higher skills again with training opportunities available to all groups? And startups play a key role. The third, third task force would be financial inclusion for economic empowerment. Again, a lot of it has already been mentioned, so I would really not say a lot, but we all know that startups have played a very key role in this financial inclusion and uh, uh, by leveraging digital payments and allowing access to services to all. Uh, Northeast uh, has, a, has a number of uh, startups, which has the details have been given by Chintanji. I would just like to conclude by giving two more points. One is some data for the Indian startup scenario. Uh, we have 115 unicorns with total valuation of USD 350 billion. Country's ecosystem has been ranked 40 on the Global Innovation Index ranking. There are 80 startups recognized every day. We are 63 on the ease of doing business ranking. There are evolution of Indian startups every 12 hours. 
These startups are spread across 663 districts in the country. 47% have at least one woman director, and more than 47% are from the tier 2 and tier 3 cities. The top industries are IT, healthcare, education, professional services, and agriculture. So, between 2016 to 2023, there has been a 10 times increase in unicorns. 15 times increase in total funding of startups, 8 times increase in the number of state startup policies, and 7 times increase in the number of incubators. I would like to conclude by saying, repeating our logo for Vasudeva Kutumbakam, one, one Earth, One Family, One Future. Let, let there be a convergence between the big businesses and startups, B20 and Startup 20, and also convergence amongst all the G20 countries with active collaboration, brainstorming, and uh, putting forward actually implementable good ideas and outcomes so that we can move ahead from this post-pandemic scenario into a more focused uh, and a more glorious and a, a world with positive vibes being spread all around. Thank you. Thank you, madam, for your valuable address. The next dignitary we have on the dais is Sri V.V. Patak, Chief Secretary, Dominic Sikkim. Sri V.V. Patak is an All India Services Officer of 1990 batch and has led his valuable service in the state government and the central government ministries. He also holds the charge of Finance Department in the government of Sikkim. I hereby invite the Chief Secretary, Dominic Sikkim, to kindly address the audience. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> Honorable Chief Minister, sir. Honorable Minister of State for Commerce and Industries. Mission Director for Atal Innovation Mission and Chair of Startup 20, Dr. Chintan Vaishnavji, a celebrated faculty from MIT. Ms. Rupa Dattaji, Principal Advisor, Asish Shinan, Joint Secretary, Ministry of External Affairs, Delegates from G20 countries, Chief Executive Officers, Senior Executives, Representatives of the Startups within India and other G20 countries, Senior Officials from Government of India and Government of Sikkim, Ladies and Gentlemen. It is a matter of great pride and honor that our beautiful state has been chosen to host two major engagements as a part of India's presidency of G20, the Business 20 and Startup 20. After the successful Business 20 meet on 16th March, we are gathered today for the prestigious Sikkim Sabha of Startup 20 which will hold important deliberations on framing of policy towards strengthening the startup ecosystem. I, on behalf of the state and people, extend my heartiest welcome to the distinguished delegates and participants to Sikkim, nature's favorite child. Often regarded as the jewel in the crown of democratic India, Sikkim is the abode of mighty Kanchenjunga, the third highest mountain in the world and the most importantly our guardian deity whose benign presence protects and guides us. Sikkim proudly houses seven wildlife sanctuaries and one national park and has the highest state-wide percentage of protected area. The Kanchenjunga National Park is recognized by UNESCO as India's first mixed heritage site. We are hence rightfully acknowledged as one of India's most significant biodiversity hotspots. Sikkim, which covers a mere 0.2% of the geographic area of the country, is home to 26% of the total floral diversity of the country. 30.8% of its geographic area is covered under Wildlife Protection Area Network. Equally rich and deep is our cultural heritage with a homogeneous blend of multiple tribes, religions and communities 
the various forms of folk dances, music and custom, festivities are reflective of the vibrant colors and dynamism of the state. We are a unique blend of nature and culture with great philosophical and spiritual depth. Sikkim is not just a serene, but also one of the cleanest and safest place to be. Even with the presence of several communities in one place, Sikkim has never had any history of communal violence. Peaceful coexistence has become a natural part of Sikkim's traditional values, which is, which is why Sikkim is widely known as the land of peace and tranquility. Despite being one of the youngest and less populated state of the country, Sikkim is rapidly moving towards in all aspects of socio-economic development, be it one of the highest literacy rates in India or equal status for men and women in the society and economy. We are moving from strength to strength, from one achievement to another. With the implementation of policies that complement our unique agroclimatic conditions, Sikkim on January 2016 was declared the first fully organic state in the country by Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji. Sikkim is also the first state in India to be open defecation free, India's top adventure and hill tourism destination and many more. In the year 2014, the Lonely Planet Travel Magazine named Sikkim the top region to visit. We have also been adjudged the most film-friendly state among many other prestigious awards and recognitions. The Startup Indian Initiative was launched on 16 January 2016 with the object of supporting entrepreneurs building a robust startup ecosystem and transforming India into a country of job creators instead of job seekers. To bring in all these objectives under one umbrella policy framework, action item spanning three key areas of simplification and handholding, funding support and incentives, and industry academia partnership and incubation were conceived. Startups have wide eligibility. Any entity with a turnover limit of up to rupees 100 crores in any financial year incorporated as a private limited company or a partnership firm or a limited liability partnership is considered a startup for up to 10 years from the date of its registration. Entities working towards innovation development of new or improvement of existing products or services with a scalable business model with high potential for wealth creation or employment generation are considered as a startup. The MSME launched a scheme for promotion of innovation, rural industries and entrepreneurship aspire, which aims to promote the startup ecosystem. The vision had easier regulatory compliances, easier exit process, funding priorities, and tax concession. The institutional backup in terms of the National Credit Guarantee Trust Company, the Startup India Seed Fund Scheme, and a fund of funds with an appropriate and conducive ecosystem witnessed the phenomenal growth of startup in India. India ranked third in the global startup ecosystem in 2022. India's rank in Global Innovation Index in 2022 at 40 also witnessed a, an exceptional jump from 81 in the earlier year. As of September 2022, India has been home to 107 unicorns. Competition within startups and between the states for creating a conducive ecosystem was behind this success. The government of Sikkim has been conscious of the need for proper policy support to start up. In 2017, Sikkim introduced a new credit link promoter's contribution financial assistance scheme called the Chief Minister Startup Scheme. This scheme aspires to provide an impetus to the local unemployed youth 
to develop new entrepreneurial ventures and self-employment opportunities through startups in the manufacturing and service sectors. The scheme upfront provides viable bankable projects assistance at 25 to 35 percent of the total project cost. The Government of India recognized this initiative as building up the ecosystem for the startups in the state. However, despite creating an ecosystem which was considered, considered favorable to startups, the response so far has been limited. The number of startups which are registered with the Department of Industrial Policy and Internal Trade is only nine in the queue. It has become important for us to look into the missing links between the policy and the outcomes. The people of Sikkim are in a way first generation entrepreneurs lacking not only the ideas but abilities to take risks and find, uh, find support infrastructure of finance and marketing and get themselves affiliated to the organic chain of value addition. Being unable to fully establish backwards and forward linkages and constraints of digital connectivity came as a handicap. In the meanwhile, the pandemic came as a major hurdle and adversely affected the ecosystem of trade and entrepreneurship across the country, with Sikkim being affected more than proportionately because of the dominance of the contact intensive sectors. The government of Sikkim has taken several initiatives to address these hiccups being faced. One of the new initiatives of the Sikkim has been to integrate training and, and entrepreneurship. On the 74th Independence Day, the Honorable Chief Minister launched a new subsidy scheme, the Skilled Youth Startup Scheme, which aims to generate equitable entrepreneurial opportunities, especially among the educated unemployed youth. The scheme also guides the youth with setting up of various businesses and allied enterprises by availing loans with back-ended financial subsidy assistance of 50% for those falling under the below poverty line category and 35% for the remaining applicants. The Department of Commerce and Industries implements the scheme to district industry centers for an appraisal of the projects. The government provides admissible financial assistance in the form of back-ended subsidy upon the sanction and disbursement of the project and is considered for adjustment against the loan repayment after three years. Over 1,700 enterprises have benefited from this scheme so far. Sikkim has also established a technology business incubation foundation under the Atal Innovation Mission, which is also the first incubation center in Northeast. The incubator nurses and incubates early stage entrepreneurial ventures based on technology and innovation by providing infrastructure, mentorship and seed grants to promising young entrepreneurs to pursue their dreams of starting their own ventures. It encourages young entrepreneurs to sharpen and update their skills in generating self-employment. Additionally, in August 2021, the government of Sikkim launched the One Family, One Entrepreneur Scheme to ensure support through various schemes aimed at the youth and rural populace in the state. The objective of this scheme is to encourage risk-taking in a society which has largely comprised of job seekers rather than job creators. There is a felt need to bring entrepreneur capabilities to the forefront to bring the economy back to Sikkim instead of pushing the same outside as has happened in the past. Most of the startups in India have come in non-traditional areas of manufacturing and services. The best known startup which has been seen accelerated growth like Paytm, Google Pay, Swiggy, Zomato, Uber, Baiju's, Absolute, CoinDX, Physicswala, Doc, DocsApp, Grow, UP, Dela Sri UP is in the field of aggregators, service delivery and payment mechanism and have benefited from the use of digital technology, data analysis, delivery gaps assessment, artificial intelligence, 
and market understanding. The kind of environment and in which these have developed is not uncommon in Sikkim. There could be significant scope for aggregators in the field of developing an end-to-end -end chain of aggregation, branding, processing and supply of organic farm and livestock products and medicinal plants. Similarly, in tourism, end-to-end -to -end chain from transportation, home stage, sightseeing, trekking and overall holistic tour organization have ample opportunities. Another area could be wellness centers, organizing outdoor meetings and company get together. What we need is local entrepreneurship, their faith in their ideas and those being converted to entities, risk taking and finally becoming reasonably strong in absorbing risks. The government startup ecosystem would be best to do the role of initial mentorship, proposing these ventures to financial institutions with a part of fund being provided upfront as initial seed capital. There is no activity which faces initial hurdles, some unexpected constraints while working and uncertainties. There are troubles faced by businesses, but they can be overcome by the ingenuity of the entrepreneur and appropriate government support. The right startup spirit is that if you win, you lead. If you lose, you can guide. I am pleased to know that the Startup 20 is bringing in together various nations and the deliberation today will help in identifying priorities and will provide a platform to deliver concrete actionable policy recommendations for the growth of the economy of Sikkim and India. As I conclude, I am confident that engagements will meet its objective of developing actionable guidance in the form of the building of enablers capacities, identification of funding gaps, enhancement of employment opportunities, and growth of an inclusive ecosystem. It brings me great joy to mention that the Startup 20 delegates are visiting our beautiful state at the most appropriate times when our rhododendrons and other seasonal flowers are in full bloom adding more vibrancy and colors to their state. You will also be fortunate to witness the mighty Kanchenjunga in its full glory during this time of year. I wish you a pleasant stay and hope that you take in the sights and sounds of our pristine beauty, festivities of MGMA and other alluring places that Sikkim has to offer and pray that you may remember our beautiful state and our warm hospitality with great fondness. I thank you for this unique opportunity and honor. Thank you and Jai Hind. Thank you very much, sir, for sharing your valuable thoughts on the status of startup ecosystem, support that the government is lending to the startup ecosystem in the state, and also for highlighting some of the unique features of the state of Sikkim. We are honored to have among us Sri Som Prakash, the Honorable Minister of State for Commerce and Industry, Government of India. Your gracious presence in the start of 20th Sikkim Sabha is highly motivating for the state and the delegates. I would now like to request the Honorable Minister of State to kindly address the audience. Respected Sri Prem Singh Tamanji, Honorable Chief Minister of Sikkim, Sri V.P. Bhattakji, Chief Shakti Sikkim, Sri Ashi Sinaji, Grand Shakti Minister of Astana Affairs, Mayor Lupa Dutta Ji, Principal Advisor, Sri Chintan Vaishnav Ji, Chairman of Startups, and other dignitaries of the states, of the states, My greetings to all the dignitaries and participants present today at the start of the engagement group meeting. It's my pleasure to be here with all of you in the graceful city of Chicago. I want to 
begin by applauding the historic week that of the country witnessed last week with two Oscar wins at the 95th Academy Awards. These wins are a tribute to the diverse Indian film industry, which is the largest in the world in terms of number of films in more than 20 languages. Second, of the most state today has potential for multiple industries. Since 2014, government of India has taken keen interest in the development of Northeast current states and has taken critical steps by the development of the, uh, in these states. In the last nine years, number of airports have increased from 9 to 16 in this region. Number of lights have increased from 900 to 1,900, and length of national highways has increased by 50 percent in these states. Number of measures are being taken to improve the connectivity. Government is also working relentlessly towards increasing, improving digital connectivity through increasing optical fiber economy and introducing 5G to the to further the development of the startup ecosystem and the service sector. I am proud to share that approximately 47 percent of all recognized startups have at least one government director. Under the leadership of our prominent Prime Minister Sri Nindra Modi ji, India has become the third largest startup ecosystem in the world. There are more than 92,000 recognized startups in the country. In all these states and territories, it's spread to in the 663 districts of India. We have more than 1,000 recognized startups in the North Indian states of India. Startups in today's world have emerged as key drivers of economic growth through job creation and innovation. Young boys and girls who have knowledge, who have the capacity, who have innovative ideas, and they being helped to become job givers, not job seekers. They are helped by a scheme, funds of funds, for under which 10,000 crores have been, the cost of 10,000 crores has been earmarked. The scheme is being fun, fun, implemented to study number of concessions such as self-certification, exemption from labors and environment laws, income tax exemption for three years, capital gain tax exemption, and relaxed experience and turnover condition in the procurement of government purchases. These are concessions are given to young boys and girls who have started the startups. India has assumed the G20 presidency from the 1st of December 2022 till 30th November 2023. India's G20 presidency has given us the opportunity to not only showcase our capacities to the world, but also pursue unity of purpose and unity of action. And the Prime Minister has given the idea that this period of presidency should be eventful, meaningful, and result oriented. With this, 
I conclude and express that talks and discussion that will take place here will be very useful. You will be benefit by the sharing your experience and practice in your areas. I wish you all the best and wonderful deliberations will be useful for the entire country and our world. All the best. Enjoy your stay in Sikkim. Enjoy the weather of Sikkim. All the best. Thank you very much. Thank you, Honorable Sir, for your words of wisdom. We are indeed honored to have the gracious presence of Sri Prem Singh Tamang, the Honorable Chief Minister of Sikkim, here at Chintan Bhavan for the inaugural session of the start of 20 Sikkim Sabha. The Honorable Chief Minister has been instrumental in building an ecosystem of entrepreneurship and innovation in the state. I take this privilege to invite the Honorable Chief Minister of Sikkim to kindly share his valuable thoughts in this August function. Thank you. Honorable Minister of State for Commerce and Industries, Government of India, Sri Shomprakash Ji, Honorable Minister Tourism, Commerce and Industries, Government of Sikkim, Sri B.S. Panji, Respected Mission Director of Atal Innovation Mission under the NGS of Niti Ayo and Chair of Startup 20, Dr. Chintan Vaishnav Ji, Respected Chief Secretary, Government of Sikkim, Sri Nili Patak Ji, Respected Senior Advisor, DPIIT, Ms. Rupa Dutta Ji, Respected Joint Secretary to the Ministry of External Affairs, Sri Hasis Shinazi, respected delegates from the all G20 countries participating in the startup session, Sikkim Sabha, respected cabinet colleagues from the government of Sikkim, respected officials from the government of India in the state governments, friends from press and media, ladies and gentlemen. Namaskar, Tashitile, Khamri, and good morning to all of you. On behalf of the people of Sikkim, I extend a very warm welcome to all the esteemed guests and dignitaries to Sikkim the Green State of India and to Sikkim Sabha of the Startup 20. We are extremely honored to have been selected as the second venue after Hyderabad for the Startup 20 Summit under India's G20 presidency this year. I would like to thank our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji for introducing India's innovation to the G20 through the first ever Startup 20 Summit. Let me, on behalf of the people of Sikkim, warmly congratulate the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi ji, for assuming the prestigious and challenging responsibility of G20 presidency. We profusely thank you, Honorable Prime Minister Sir for providing this rare opportunity to host two G20 meetings in Sikkim, a small, landlocked, and magnificently beautiful border state of India. The G20 presidency to India once again signifies the confidence and commitment of both the developed and developing countries. This is one of the 
most magnificent seasons of the year in the mountain areas like Sikkim, where, where one can enjoy the rhododendron in full blossom and see the Holy Kanchanjanga, the world's third highest mountain. Let me briefly delve into our rich cultural heritage. Sikkim is recognized as the world's first organic state. As we steadily move back to our traditional farming system, methods, and technology, a range of global institutions has recognized and celebrated our transformation into organic farming. We have banned chemical fertilizers and harmful pesticides, including single-use plastics and plastic bottles. Today, our certified organic product and commodities are making gradual inroads in, into the market. We are keen to concentrate and sustain organic farming and make its core philosophy spread over to other sectors and disciplines and other regions of India and outside. I am delighted to inform this August gathering that in the overall index of sustainable development goal with a composite score of 71, we hold the 8th rank among 29 states in the country. Women empowerment and gender equality have traditionally been the epitome of inclusive development in Sikkim. The women of Sikkim actively and tremendously contribute to this state as administrators, policy makers, educators, legislators, farmers, social actors, community leaders, and entrepreneurs. Sikkim is widely re recognized as an unparalleled symbol of soft power and the most peaceful state in India. With a population where 66% of the workforce falls under the age group of 15 to 59 years. Our per capita income stands at 4 lakhs 72,543 rupees in 2022. At a time when the world needs innovation, digitalization, digi digitization, dynamic energy, and breakthrough in technology, Startup 20 is the perfect opportunity for bringing together and interacting with all key stakeholders in a single platform. The Government of India launched the Startup India Initiative on 16 January 2016 in order to support entrepreneurs, build a strong startup ecosystem, and transform India into a country of job creators instead of job seekers. Under this initiative, startups are entitled to a number of benefits such as tax initiatives including capital gains, tax exemptions, government's assistance in funding, prioritization of startup in public procurement, etc. The Startup India scheme is among the various measures taken by the Government of India in order to improve the ease of doing business and to develop a startup friendly atmosphere for the budding startup in India. It has the best startup ideas in India to grow and realize their full potential and make India much as the biggest startup hub in the world. The, the National Credit Guarantee Trust Company was established in 2014 by the Department of Finance Services, Ministry of Finance, to act as a common trusty company for various credit guarantee funds and to support the flow of funds to startup by giving the guarantee to the investor investing in the startup ecosystem of India. Seed funds scheme was announced in 2021 to provide financial assistance to startup or purpose like proof of concept, market entry, development of prototypes, product trials, and commercialization. The fund of funds was set up in 2016 with a total amount of rupees 10,000 crore to be built over time. As of 1st December 2022, the Small Industries Development Bank had committed over rupees 4,000 crore to 60 media, mediator financer who have raised a total amount of over rupees 30,000 crore for being invested in startups. Incubation and Industry Academia Partnership forces the creations of numerous incubators and innovation labs events 
competition and grants. Some other key, other key benefit that the action plan included were entitlement to an 80% debate in the patent registration fees as well as a 50% rebate in trademark filing startup could also benefit from faster access nonsense, free of cost assistance provided by patent and trademark facilitators in filing for intellectual property rights. In order to create a single point of contact for the startup ecosystem and to enable the exchange of knowledge and easy access to funding, the government of India created the Startup India Hub to work in a hub and spoke model in collaboration with the central and state governments. India and foreign ventures, capitals, angles, networks, banks, incubators, university, consultancies, and research and development institutes. It, it assists startup with a special focus on obtaining finance, advisory and business structure, feasibility testing, improving marketing skills, technology, commercialization and management evaluation. In 2022, India ranked third in the global startup ecosystem. India's rank in global innovation index in 2022 is 40, which is an exceptional jump from the 80, 81 position in 2021. The startup ecosystem of India is growing at an exponential rate over the past few years. Since 2018, the rate of increase of unicorns is exponential and as of on like you. The scheme will facilitate the setting up of various business and allied enterprises by availing loan with back in debt financial subsidy assistance of 50% for those below the poverty line category and 35% for the remaining applicant. The people of Sikkim are in a way first generation and entrepreneurs, lacking not only the ideas but abilities to take risks and find support in five structures of finance and marketing and get themselves affiliated to the organic chain of value In addition, we are taking proactive measures to address this concern. We have recently launched the first of its kind, one family, one entrepreneurs, which will support youth and rural populace in the state through various schemes by providing technical support and access to finance in the form of back in the subsidies. With this scheme, we aim to risk taking in society and make a shift towards job creators from job seekers. To further encourage and create a conducive environment for startups, the state government set up an incubation center under the Atal Innovation Mission at Sikkim Manipal University. Sikkim also has a number of engineering, technical and polytechnical institute and colleges like the Sikkim Manipal Institute of Technology, National Institute of Technology, CCCT, 
Chishopani and ATTC Badang from one and last pool of qualified students graduates each year. The state also has a number of central state and private universities like Sikkim Manipal University, SRM, A5, Madhavi Skill University, Sikkim University, Sikkim Government College, College of Agriculture, Engineering and Post Harvest Technology, and the upcoming universities like Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose University of Excellence on the state government, Capital University, Mahatma Gandhi University, Skill University, International University, etc. under private undertaking. We have a population that is aspirational, a population that wants to be part of the narrative where innovations, digitization, technological disruptions and bridging gaps through technological intervention have the potential to leapfrog the economy into better heights. Innovation has not been new to our small state. Sikkim was the first state to ban single-use plastic. Sikkim was also the first state in the country that was declared the first organized state in India in 2016 when the world was waking up to the concept of organic farming where innovation through natural and indigenous process has been applied and implemented in the conversation of our farmland into our organically healthy natural ecosystem. The best known startup India which has been seen accelerated growth like Paytime, Google Pay, Swiggy, Zomato, Uber, Baijus, Rasmandi, Absolute, Coin DX, Physics Well, DocSap, Grow, Jupi, Dila Share, UV is in the field of aggregators, service delivery and payment mechanism and have benefited from the use of digital technology. Data analysis, delivery gaps assessment, artificial and intelligence, and market understanding. Sikkim has significant scope for aggregators in the field of developing an in-to-in center of aggreg aggregation, branding, processing, and supply of organic farm and livestock product and medicinal plant. In tourism, they are ample opportunities to lag and in to insane in from transportation, home state, sizing, tra tracking, and overall holistic tour organization. Wellness center, organizing outdoor meetings and company get together also have a lot of potential. The most important we need is local entrepreneurship. They are faith in their ideas and those being converted to elements. Risk takings and finally becoming reasonably strong in absorbing risk. The government startup ecosystem would be best to do the role of initial mentorship, proposing this venture to financial institutions with a part of funds being provided upfront as initial seed capital. It is important to overcome the setback by ensuring that our entrepreneurs are provided with the confidence and appropriate support from the government. As it is rightly said by the French playwright Molière, the greater the obstacle, the more glory of overcoming it. We wish to contribute to the nation by offering to pass on this very experience to other states where youth advancement can be brought on in, on in an inclusive and sustainable manner. Similarly, we wish to be part of the narrative where our private sector has innovated, competed on a global stage and also learned from the vast wealth of knowledge the nation state ecosystem has combined. The state is committed to in, in, enabling the startup of today to be the future of multinationals who will thrive under sustainable development goals and bring in constant technological advancement in the field of health and nutrition, sustainable tourism and wellness, climate change mitigation, education, sanitation, organic farming and agriculture, gender equality and inclusivity among others. The state government for the stand farm in its commitment to building an agile and conducive environment where industry and business can support each other. I owe this panel to smoothen, facilitate and handhold the state machinery for bringing in the infrastructure and enabling mechanisms needed to support innovation through uh, our startups. I am hopeful that discussion on strengthening the ecosystem 
and ensuring a greater flow of financial resources will build investment capabilities in emerging ecosystem such as ours in Sikkim to support and create value in the long term through natural, social, financial and technological intervention. Before I conclude once again, I express my warm welcome to all the dignitaries in our, our Himalayan and green state of Sikkim and wish you a nice stay here in the capital. Your benign presence has made atmosphere very blissful and opulent here, wishing the profound, impactful, inclusive and inspiring outcomes of these deliberations. I end my such speech with the slogans Basudaiva Kutumbakam, one earth, one family, one future. Thank you. Jai Hind, Jai Sikhi. Thank you, Honorable Sir for your insightful words and for your continuous guidance and support to propel the state to new heights of development. Now we will be launching three important initiatives. The first is iTurf. I create has instituted iTurf and I invite on stage Mr. Avinash Pulikar for a short introduction. Mr. Avinash Pulikar. Good morning. Hello, friend. Good morning. Uh, as a secretariat for Startup 20, we've been working with Dr. Chintan and the team to help realize a global synchronized startup ecosystem. And uh, towards this, IPAT is happy to announce ITERF Global Fellowship Program. He has a short message from our, one of our founders, Dr. Madhu Mehta. Hello, friends. On behalf of IPAT, International Center for Entrepreneurship and Technology, its founding team and its operating teams. It is my privilege to introduce you to our new program, ITERF. I am Madhu Mehta, a founding team member. In the next few seconds, I want to cover the context and the expectations of the new program, ITERF, with you. ITERF is partnering this year with Startup 20 engagement groups of G20 with G20 focused themes. ITERF being part of iCREATS initiative is nuanced towards multidiscipline applied research with usable insights. This year there are two iTurf fellowships. Each has US dollar 1000 per month for one year. Scope of iTurf is global. The selection process for iTurf entries will include some of the leading institutions like EDI and global experts. Naturally, quality of participation in the ITER program will determine the utility and the stature of this program for all of us. We request very enthusiastic cooperative responses from all of you. Thank you. Thank you all and we hope for a back to some very high quality proposals and some pivotal research and startup ecosystems. Thank you. Thank you, sir. The next is the launch of Startup 20 Fellow. I would like now like to welcome on stage Dr. Chintan Vaishnav to launch the Startup 20 Fellow. So, um, whereas uh, ITERF is focused on deeper uh, 
scholarship. Um, we're launching another uh, initiative uh, from Startup 20 called the Startup 20 Fellows Program. This program seeks two types of people, scholars and practitioners. Scholars uh, largely uh, comprising uh, of students who are pursuing undergraduate, graduate, postgraduate degrees, or research scholars who are enrolled in recognized universities or institutions within India or anywhere else um, in the world, especially the G20 nations. And practitioners uh, who are stakeholders of these startup ecosystems, these may be uh, founders, co-founders of startups, or, 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 or parts of startup teams, managers of incubation and acceleration centers, policy makers, uh, parts of investment teams, etc., uh, who, who are interested in uh, coming along uh, with, uh, as the Startup 20 develops uh, throughout India's presidency and uh, uh, hopefully moves on uh, to uh, subsequent presidencies and, uh, and becomes a permanent uh, 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 initiative. Uh, the Fellows Program is, 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 is aspires to attract scholars who will come and do research on the global uh, uh, startup ecosystems. These may be things like reports, these may be uh, 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 focusing on niches, uh, specific questions, uh, etc. And, and practitioners who are in, interested in uh, uh, engaging with nations and creating processes so that the startup ecosystems work together uh, more uh, efficiently. Uh, this is a significant opportunity because as a uh, fellow, uh, you will be working with uh, leaders in the startup ecosystem worldwide, uh, some of uh, whom I mentioned already uh, as uh, well as introducing our task forces. So uh, please come forward, uh, uh, join us, uh, and uh, let's uh, make this happen. Uh, uh, please look out for application process on the Startup 20 website. Uh, today, uh, we're launching this uh, fellowship program uh, that will uh, get started with India's presidency. Can, can I have the little launch, please? Thank you, sir. And finally, we have the launch of the Startup 20 Startup Showcase. I'd now like to request the Honorable Chief Minister of Sikkim to kindly launch the Startup 20 Startup Showcase by clicking the green button. The Honorable Chief Minister of Sikkim launching the Startup 20 Startup Showcase. Thank you, Honorable Sir. And now, as we come towards the end of the inaugural session, I would like to invite on stage Sri Sachin Dhania, the Deputy Secretary of the Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade, Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Government of India, for the closing remarks. Respected Honorable Minister, uh, Junior Minister of State, Sri Sobhakazi, <coughs> Sri Prem Singh Tawang, Honorable Chief Minister Sikkim, Sri B.S. Panji, uh, Minister of Commerce and Tourism, uh, Sikkim, Sri B.B. Patak, Chief Secretary, Government of Sikkim, Sri Asi Sintaji, uh, Joint Secretary, Ministry of External Affairs, Sri Mati uh, Upa Datta, uh, Madam Principal Advisor in DPIT, Sri Chintan Vaishnav Ji, uh, Chair Startup with 20 Engagement Group, and my colleagues from Government of India and friends from all the participating countries, good morning to everyone. I believe I yeah, still good morning. Uh, at the outset, I would like to thank and acknowledge all the delegations from across the G20 world and nations and special into ITs to be present here. Your presence here reflects that the global commitment towards 
for fostering a more inclusive, interconnected and empowered startup ecosystem. It has been a vision of our, our Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi Ji to recognize, develop and nurture the startup ecosystem in the country and as a result, we are among the, one of the fastest growing startup ecosystem in the world. As you are all aware, the Startup 20 is a new engagement group which has been initiated under the India G20 Presidency. An entire team has worked extensively to lay down the foundations and broad parameters and objectives to define the Startup 20 and the works to be undertaken under this thing. And I would like to congratulate them for creating this legacy. I would like to thank Honorable Chief Minister of uh, Honorable Chief Minister and Chief Secretary Sir for hosting us. Uh, Sikkim, as our host state today, is the rich in our in biodiversity, has potential for many multi industries, especially related to the climate and other sustainable development, and presents an opportunity that can be attacked for, for the economic growth of the state. It is indeed one of the budding startup ecosystem state in our country and exhibits such diversity and great. I would like to thank the state government of Sikkim and their teams for hosting and curating the number of immersive experiences for the city in Sabah and encouraging all the delegates to visit uh, all these uh, sessions and also uh, take time out for, to visit these uh, different uh, ecosystems that will be part of this entire program. I am confident that the Startup 20 team will be the sessions across these two days in the most engaging and productive way. My best wishes to the various teams involved in the execution of the Startup 20 Sikkim, Sabah in this beautiful state of Sikkim. <coughs> All this would have not have been possible without the undeterred support from the, our officials, especially from the Ministry of External Affairs, Joint Secretary, in ensuring that a seamless and multi-stakeholder coordination is being done. A lot of work has been done globally to enable all sort of support to startup ecosystem. We should build on these experts and efforts and experiences. While we have a whole of the government approach in India, and all the nine ministries are working towards cohesively in achieving the single-minded focus for the development of the country. Globally as well, a whole of the world approach that has been devised as part of our logo for the Startup 20, for the G20 as such, one earth, one family, one future approach may be adopted for a greater unity in our actions. It is rightly said that to work for startup, we must think and we must work like startups. We have been innovating with the ambitions of providing the most enabling and encouraging ecosystem. The Startup 20 Engagement Group is a promising start for cooperation and mutual understanding of global startup ecosystem on policy and action oriented fronts. This opens a new frontier of collaborations and deepens the role of startup community in global policy making regime. The engagement group might well be the benchmark of similar such actions in other global forums in times to come. Thank you so much for your presence and all the efforts that you have contributed for developing the startup ecosystem and the commitment that you have shown for the Startup 20 engagement group. Looking forward for a great journey ahead and my best wishes for the city in Sabah. Thank you. Good day. Thank you, sir. I'd just like to inform the August gathering that the Startup 20 showcase will be live from 11 a.m. at NG Mark Gangtok. I request the dignitaries on stage to kindly stand for an official photo. Stand together.